Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Carson Rocks 35 here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pokefine Adventures here in Season 2. So let's go ahead and get started right into today's episode. We're going to take a break from Shadow Quest 2 just for a little bit. And we're going to continue our quest for our Shadow Houndoom. So last time that we tried to do this, we had to return the Shadow Houndoom to the Professor um, with the max happiness. Now we were told we don't actually need to raise it to max happiness. So we went to go turn him again, but we needed to battle to get through. We needed to battle, what was it? Jeffa! And we could not defeat Je Jeffa again. So we are here with our team. A good bit more train uh, level train last time. Tyrant, Harbait at level 100. Blissey being at 82. You know, Lantern at 70. Kyoto Venusaur at 65. And with Heracross at 83. We're much better in setup than last time we tried to take this guy on uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing started you know let's see what we got here what do you got for us man Charizard okay so even though typings don't have a super effective on this uh, technically we should start out wrong uh, well so let's go ahead and get a Thunderbolt off shadow fire come on can we just we need to live one no we couldn't even live one that's so upsetting that even at level 70, I couldn't live one. That's fine, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and go into our boy Kyoto Venusaur here. Kyoto Venusaur is even slower, so we're not gonna get a move off. It might tank a hit, but I really doubt it. We're gonna go with Eruption here, see if we can get it off, but I see this one getting one shot. Yeah, no surprise there. Sadly, we didn't get any damage off with them too, but that's okay. The reason that's okay is because that's nearly half that Charizard's health with reverse mode. The more HP we can save on our main four team members, the better it is. So, this is where it starts to get tricky. We have two level 100s being Espeon Titar, and then we have a level 82, which is Blissey, who came in through for us the last couple times we've used him, and then Heracross. We're going to go in with Heracross because I think of its speed. Uh, I think that's going to be our main majority here, so we're going to go in with a close combat. Shadowfire still went first, come on, we should be able to live one. Seriously, we can't live a single Shadowfire. You can't live a hit at this Pokemon, okay. Well, time to send in the big guns. We're going to go with our boy Espeon here. Titar and Blissey are going to be our, our fallback lineup, but this is not good. This is not good at all. If we have to have the entire team fully leveled up, and that's so annoying. Especially considering we got through Shadow Quest 2 a good while before we needed, you know, level 100s. Because Blissey and them were wrecking face. Like, no joke, wrecking face earlier with it. Okay, let's go ahead and use a Psychic on the Alakazam. Oh look, Shadow Storm. I bet this kills my Espeon right off the bat. Wow. Who would have guessed? See, now, this is where I'm in big trouble. Obviously, Blissey's our best bet because special tank, uh, special defense tank. But I don't know how well this is going to work. We're going to go ahead and throw off a Toxic here. Shadow Storm shouldn't kill us. Okay, good. <laughs> That's very, very good. How much HP did that do to us? We might have to soft boil right away and we won't be able to get the minimize off. Okay, that did a total of, wow, we started at 584, went down to 306, so if we went down to 304, that'd be 180 HP, basically, it's done. That's really, really rough, um, and we go second, so it's time to just soft boil this thing, second, second, really, really sucks, oh my god, that nearly, nearly finished off our ballistic, we're barely hanging on, soft boil that up, hopefully we're cover HP above where we were if not we're in trouble where are we now on HP 309 okay so we got slightly more HP back than we got before uh than we got you know dealt to us in damage so that's good we're gonna go with another soft boil because we need to live as long as I don't get a crit we should be fine see we're getting a little bit of HP back each and every time come on reverse mode and poison finally finish off that Alex exam okay so this is very very not good at all in all reality but ugh. okay so star me i'm gonna really really be questioned to how i'm gonna get this t poison off we're gonna go ahead and start with the soft boil shadow bolt i swear i don't think i've seen shadow bolt before how much damage did that do a decent bit but we were able to recover quite a bit so we're good now so what we can go ahead and do is throw in on the toxic because we know we have the space for it with the damage come on shadow bolt again super effective but we poison starming we're down to yellow hp so we can live another shadow bolt because that seems to be what it's sticking with does just under or over 100 damage we're gonna go ahead and soft boil up again oh that was yeah that really really sucks okay that's okay we're gonna have about three fourths of our hp back 
Ooh, not quite as much AP as I was hoping for back on that turn. That really, really sucks. 411, though. We're around the same area we were before. Uh, let's go ahead and soft boil again. Blissey might be our key to this app. Like, totally. Oh, my God. But I don't like, I don't have enough soft boils for this at all. Because I can't get a move out. If I attack, we're going to lose Blissey. We have to soft boil and poison every time to actually poison the new Pokemon and actually be able to live the hits. Well, Blissey at least leads level 83, so that's going to help us out with a little more HP. T-Tar, this is not good at all. We might get one shot here. Uh, we've got a good bit of our HP, so let's go ahead and get that Toxic off. Shadow Break, come on, come on. And yeah, I saw that happening. Being a physical attacking move, even as a Shadow. Oh my god, okay. Well, it's T-Tar versus T-Tar. I don't like this setup um, at all. So let's go ahead and go with a good old... Well, okay, so when it comes to shadows, it doesn't matter the type of move, it's all about the power. So in all reality, if we want the most power, we're going to use a rock type move, because we have the, we have the stone gen on him. He's a rock type, so that's stab. So that's like three times power for a stab move, and then it's just better overall. But stone edge is not only rock move, and that's risky, but a guaranteed earthquake is 100, but no stab. Mm. Let's go with earthquake. Shadow break, how much is that going to do? That nearly one-shot us. That's fantastic. And there goes not enough HP on that T-Tar. And we lost this battle. Wow. That is so annoying. Okay, we still can't take this guy out. Maybe it's the way I use my Pokemon. Maybe I should have brought in, you know, other people first. Maybe I should have leveled up my team more. Maybe I should have used a different order of Pokemon. That's really, really interesting that we still can't beat Jetba. But if you think about it, we kind of stormed through the entirety of the Shadow 2 quest like with ease. Time but to see if we can fight our boy Parzin again. Let's go ahead and we're going to start off with Kyoto Venusaur, our weakest mod. Come on. My gimmicky strategies will wow you, kid. Don fan. Why did it send Blissey up front? I don't want Blissey up front. That's really, really annoying. I did not want my boy Blissey to be up front as my lead. Let's try this again. Gone fan. They, why are you sending T-Tar up front? Why is it ignoring Kyoto Venusaur? Am I not... It just, maybe I'm not allowed to use Venusaur? I don't understand. That's so stupid. But okay, let's go ahead and use... Ice Fang, Ice would be super effective because he's a ground type, right? So it should, in all reality, that did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Not nearly as much damage as I was hoping. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use an Earthquake here. How much damage is this going to do? Just about the same, but Earthquake is super effective on us, and that nearly, nearly finishes it off. That is not good at all. Okay, Stone Edge time. Yes, we landed it. Come on, come on, finish him off. No! You're telling me between Stab, the Hard Stone, I couldn't finish him off? And there goes T-Tar. Okay, so well, that's one Mon for one Mon, and I'm pretty sure we don't get our boy Kyoto Venusaur, so we're already down a Pokemon. Well, that's really, really sucky. So, what can we do? Well, we're going to go ahead and use Heracross here. I'm hoping he'll outspeed Don Fan, but I don't see it happening just because of the levels alone. Close combat. Okay, we outsped, and we finished off Don Fan. That is very, very good. Very good. Okay, what else can we do? with this guy what are you coming up next please be a good choice if it's not up for against hair cross not a good choice so we're gonna be in a very very sticky situation radicate really you're just kind of super annoying we're gonna go a mega horn on you um come on radicate use double edge and finished off my hair cross in one go wow you know <laughs> of course that would happen and you cannot use anniversary Pokemon here. You know what? I'm getting tired of not using anniversary Pokemon. I'm about to switch to a Crobat on my team. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Because I can't use Venusaur everywhere, anywhere. And what's the point of him if I can't use him? But I think it's kind of stupid that they let me use him for anything but certain quests. For it. So what's the point of having the eggs? But okay. Let's see what else we can do here. Lantern, that's our next weakest mod. I mean... Let's go ahead and see if we can get a Hydro Pump off. It's our best bet. Come on. Double Edge. Miss? Nope. That's going to do all of our health. At least it will do some recoil, I would think, right? He's not a ghost type. Yeah, take some recoil damage. Okay. Well, next we have Blissey, Espeon, and, you know, Kyoto Venusaur don't count. So, 
Hmm, four mons. I'm thinking we can go in with our boy Blissey here and stall out for as long as possible. Because if we can get just Espeon to sweep up, we'll be all good. So let's go ahead and... Oh. Let's throw a poison on you. Because we just gotta need to heal, heal, heal. Double edge, one shot, a Blissey? Are you kidding me? I know double edge, I'm pretty sure it's physical and everything. But are you flipping kidding me? Oh my god, I am triggered. I am so triggered. There's, I don't believe that that one shot is 600 health Blissey, but... Okay, Rarp Rampardos? Is Rampardos Gen 2? I swear I don't remember Rampardos being a Gen 2 Pokemon. I s that doesn't make any sense to me in my head. Psychic, come on, come on. This is gonna be tough. I don't know how we're gonna continue this. Wow, we can one-shot Rampardos, though. Was that super effective? Yeah, I didn't know it was. I didn't think it was super effective. Okay. Dust clubs. Let's go ahead and use Psychic again. We should be super effective. In all reality, we should one-shot it. That did nothing to the Psych Psy Dust clubs. Nothing at all. Why is Psychic not super effective? You're a ground type. I mean, not a ground type. You're a ghost type. And I can't heal. Morning Sun's not going to do enough HP. Psychic type again. I mean, maybe if we get a crit, but I don't... Yeah. Wow, that was so, so disappointing. Why does it feel like the Shadow Quest 2 is easier than everything else? When this should be the absolute easiest quest, I would say, out of all of them. And yet, I can't do anything. And now, look, I'm so, so dumb. Slush. Okay, everyone, so after the last couple battles, we've just been defeated and defeated. So you know what? I said that's enough. I said that is enough, and now our team is bulk to the bulk max. Almost. Except for Venusaur here, still level 65. But boy Lantern's here level 96. Boy Blissey's level 95. Rocket at 675 HP, and our boy Heracross is also here at level 95. On top of that, everyone else was already on level 100. So our team is stacking, and I am almost completely concerned that I'm going to train up a Crobat to its happiness and everything off screen because Kyoto Venusaur has just become completely useless half the time. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now, what is the best Pokemon to lead off with in all reality? Who really knows? We're going to go with... Donphan was the first one he came out with. Donphan. So, Heracross with close combat because it's super effective. In the level, we should be all good now. Look at this. This is a much fairer fight. Close combat. We knew we go first. Come on. See if we can one-shot this thing. Be beautiful. No, we don't even do half of his HP. That was a critical hit, too. Are you going to set up a Stealth Rock? That is not good for us. Let's go ahead and do another close combat. See if we can get that off and finish him before he gets another hit off. That didn't finish him off. We were so close. That one more move. Thunder Fang, that's not going to do a whole lot to me. Why did that do so much damage? That doesn't make any sense. I am a bug fighting type. I resist it. Physical attacker or not, there is no reason at all that should have been two-thirds of my HP. That is kind of ridiculous. Okay, here, Ace. Finish it off. Easy peasy. So what have you next for us, Parson? Because we got a boy Heracross out here on the first turn still. What are you going to do, man? Our team's at a level that you haven't seen yet. Close combat. Double edge. That's going to finish off my Heracross. But it's also going to do some damage on Raticate at least. It's so annoying, though, because I feel there are some moves in this game that just don't make sense when they do damage. Come on out, boy. Lantern. You're going to go ahead and continue to lead the team for us here. Let's go ahead and set up an Aqua Ring because you're at a high enough level. It's worth it now. Please don't do one-shot us. Are you kidding me? Fine. Go ahead and one-shot every single Pokemon. This... I'm um, salt. That... Okay. Um... Hmm... No, you cannot use Anniversary Pokemon. Really? I can't even sacrifice him? That's so annoying. Okay. Well, with three Pokemon left, four to battle, we know how this plays out. I'm thinking Blissey. 
I want to go with Blissey, but we're going to go with Titar. I know it's maybe not the smartest move, but I feel like it's the right move for a certain reason. I'm not sure what it is. Let's go ahead and go Earthquake on this guy. Double Edge. Okay, that did almost nothing to my boy Titar. Okay, that is the good thing. Because that would have one-shot our boy Blissey. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so luckily, at least Titar is a physical defense. So most of these mods shouldn't be able to do a massive amount of damage on him. Okay, with our boy Rampardos there, let's see if we can get a Stone Edge off. Super power on us. And doesn't matter if we get the Stone Edge off or not. Because it's going to one-shot us. That's fantastic. Not really. Okay. Um. Um. Hmm. Espeon, because Blissey's a special defense. That's a physical attacking Pokemon. If I go in there with Blissey, we're dead. Psychic attack. Come on. Do something for us, please. Not even able to one-shot it. He can one-shot all of us. Wow. Well, that deal... Almost all of our HP. That's really, really sucky. I don't have another strategy here. We can finish this guy off with Psychic. And we'll do damage, but I doubt we'll one-shot the next Pokemon after that. We one shotted one of these guys. Who was it? Dust Clops is not one of them. This was the one that we do not want to deal with. Let's go with Shadow Ball and just see what that does. I know it's a ghost type, but Psychic didn't do much. Shadow Ball did a good amount of damage, but and there we go. Down for the count goes Espeon. So we just have Blissey left. Blissey and Venusaur. Yeah, see, I just have five Pokemon at this point. It's I'm actually at a really disadvantage here and i don't know what i'm supposed to do toxic get this dust class poisoned up we'll see if we can pull this through but this is going to be a very close one if we can do it at all fire punch not stab that's good that did a decent bit of damage we're gonna go ahead soft boil it up we're not even going to take any risks at all this is just a stall game we should have enough soft boils poisons to be able to go through this guy and on top of that we don't even have a move outside of double edge on blissey so we couldn't attack the dust clops even if we wanted to we just have to let the poison take him down which is gonna be hard but luckily with 10 soft boils well eight left i think at this point we should be able to do it poison i'm just glad is uh currently in there how much hp we got 487 let's go i did not mean to use toxic i meant to play soft boiled no 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 rest up oh my god that would have been a free heal for us it would have been perfect because there's nothing that we can do okay so let's go ahead minimize we're gonna lower our accuracy or their accuracy on hitting us at least sleep talk with shadow ball it's not gonna affect us that's the the best thing about it can i poison you while you're asleep though minimize basically won't go any higher why can we only use minimize once i seriously don't get it okay let's go ahead toxic him see if that can get put on there toxic but it failed yeah we can't put him to we can't poison him if he's asleep and now he's awake fire punch is the only move he can do to us anyways let's poison him if he only has fire punch we can out stall him but we're not gonna last to the next pokemon oh my god okay soft boil come on yes we went first we healed up but we have to wait through this poison all over again while we're going installing for this question of the day i'm still trying to put these in here how are you i just want to know how you guys are all doing anything special or new you guys done with yourselves anything you're up to content creating you know just playing games hanging out with friends maybe going to a concert or something let me know down in the comments down below so i can read them on pokemon podcast on every wednesday love any of you guys' comments so make sure you guys do that and now we are burned this is not going to be very very good at all i mean we're, we're struggling to get through this battle and he still has one more mod we're halfway through our soft boils and he's not even halfway through his health yet that is not good at all with the burn on top of that fire punch it's just doing more and more damage every turn and guaranteed every turn now he's gonna get damaged but once he runs out of fire punches that's gonna be his big big weakness let's go ahead and soft boil again because that's the only move that we have Ugh. So guys, I want to go ahead and comment down below who I should replace Kyoto Venusaur with. Because I'm going to replace him. But at this point, I can't use him in so many of the, the battles and everything. I think it was probably a stupid purchase in all reality to purchase that Anniversary Dream Egg. And now that I can't even use him, it's kind of upsetting me. So, we're going to go back to our original plan, I feel like. I want to go with Crobat. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And oh my god, this guy is soft-boiled. We cannot do this. We cannot do this at all. I'm just going to run. No point of wasting our time there at all. 
literally, we couldn't finish him off like that. That's so, so annoying. Okay, so, you know what? This is gonna be the official plan. We are going to Gen 1, and we are looking for a Crobat. I think you guys will agree with me. Last time we talked about adding a Crobat to the team, you guys seemed really, really down with it. The only problem will be his happiness, but training him up, he'll get a lot of happiness. And we have Slash Happiness to check on that along the way. If we can get lucky and get a good uh, Crobat going, that will be a speed physical attacker. You know, kind of like Heracross, but with a different typing and different moveset. And it will allow us to flying types and poison types, something that we don't have access to on our current team. Um, and it would actually give us a lot more uh, advantages than disadvantages, I feel like. So let's go ahead and see if we can find this thing. Where are you? So there's a mucky muck muck right there. So he is 31 meters away. Oh, Zubat is 85 and he is getting farther this way. So we need to go this way. I didn't think I'd ever be searching this much for a Zubat of all things, but you know, I've never not been down with Crobat. He's definitely a very cool Pokemon, and there we go, there he is. Um, I just, you know, never thought about using him, but let's go ahead and see if we can capture this guy. Come on, Zubat, you stay in the Pokeball there for us, bud, because you're going to get added to the team, and by next episode, we're going to have a fully established team, once we have you already and you're the right one. So, you have a lax nature, which isn't good, that's up defense, down special defense, neither are what we want. What do you, slash, IVs six uh well that's really really annoying you don't have an active pokemon well man yeah, yeah, yeah. iv so you have a 59 percent ivs we want speed and attack basically you have one speed but 30 attack you're so good in trash at the same time that it's not even worth it. it's a slash pc and let's go ahead and throw you in here with the others. Do we already have a Zubat somewhere in this PC? That is the real question here. I would might think so, but I'm not really sure. Come on. No, I don't see one. There's a Porygon 2s. We could throw those on the team. And Umbreon as well. Something else we could already throw on the team. You know, we have plenty of options for mods I could throw on the team. Um, but I really kind of want that Crobat. Chikorita wouldn't be a bad one, but we don't have one that's exactly fitting what we need. Um, there are no- Oh, there's a Golbat here. Golbat. Okay, so that's up attack, down special attack. That's good. Let's go ahead and pull him out. Is there another one, or is this the only one that we have? Um, uh, I think this is the only one of these that we actually have. Good collection of Pokemon. Ooh, Alolan Vulpix. It's something we gotta use at some point. Okay. Let's go ahead and check the IVs of this guy. That's not what I want in my PC. IVs, you have 34%, 31 speed, and 10 attack. You've got to be kidding me. He was everything but that special, I mean, that attack nature that we needed. That's so upsetting. Well, okay, there's another Zubat. Let's chase this guy down and go after him. Where are you, Zooey Zubat? We are looking for you. Come on. Where are you? That's a Venomoth. Not what we we're looking for in this direction, I would assume, because he went off the radar. Hi, Udish. This way, so 63 meters. See on the other side of my lake here at 54 meters. So far, it makes sense that he's going to be on the other side of the lake because there's that shelter, which I would never. Oh, there he is. Never seen a shelter spawn here before. That's really interesting. Level 4 Zubat. We get a very, very base start. Come on. You don't want to stay in here, do you? Oh, yes, you do. Slash. PC, what do you got for us? So it's just the next slot filled with a boy Zubat. So where would you be? Right here. Oh, let's replace you. So you have a neutral nature. That's okay. What are your IVs though? You have 10 speed and 5 attacks. So you're even worse than your buddy. God. Jeez. Okay. Well, go ahead and you in here. Let's see if we can continue our search. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I feel like literally we could win any of those battles that we keep losing. Probably if we just have one more good Pokemon. And Kyoto Venusaur is just the fact that we can't use him in every single battle. And that keeps appearing more and more. And I, it used to just be because of my level. And now it's because he's an anniversary Pokemon. And it's starting to get on my nerves. So we're going to switch up the team. Um, and I think that's just Bet Bet overall. You know, we can always use him later on. And it's kind of annoying if we can't use him now after all that work and training we've done on him. But it's 
still worth it because if we do use him later on then all we have to do is worry about his level we don't have to worry about training him while well, i'm going to do all this zubat and crobat training off screen if you guys think I'm making a mistake here and I need to go for a completely different Pokemon, go ahead and let me know down in the comments down below. But I think Crobat is actually the perfect choice for a team and it gives us the option of Pokemon for flying and poison type stab moves and on top of that he's just another speed physical attacker. You know with high damage, you know it's not something that we can really really pass up and it's well well worth it. Because we have plenty of tanks with both Titar. Well, Lantern, I wish I had the right ability on it, but it's not a big difference. And Blissey, we have plenty of tanks. We need physical attackers or special attackers. Either way, we just need attackers, and I think Crobat's our best option. And there are no more Pokemon around here. Anyways, oh wait, there's a Golbat right here. So guys, this is going ahead and beat the last Pokemon that we catch for today. And I will go ahead and continue my work off screen. If you guys want to go ahead and check out the rest of this series and season one, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the playlist up in the description in the top right. And on top of that, while you guys are doing that, make sure you go down to the comments down below. Comment what you guys want me to do. Um, for my Pokemon as well. Make sure you like and subscribe if you guys all do enjoy the content. If you guys do, I appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And if you don't mind, you can always change your mind later. It's completely free. So I appreciate it. And yeah, let's see if we can catch this Crobat. Or not. Apparently, he really, really does not want to be caught at all. Come on, come on, come on. There we go to finish it off. And he's not good at all and that is a sucky crowbat once again anyways i'll hope you guys all did enjoy and i'll see you all later peace peace